All right, guys, I hope you're ready. Uh, This podcast is so funny. It is with Georgia and Isla. True stories from Razzle Dazzle. A couple of them. And uh, I don't even know what else we talked about. Summer travel, working on Fully Loaded, um, sister tension, rivalry arguments. Thanks for coming back. Thanks for uh, sending me emails, birdieboardproductions.com. Please check out The Machine. You can buy your tickets in advance at certain theaters. You can go buy them right now at themachine.movie. And if you haven't seen Razzle Dazzle, uh, either watch this and then watch Razzle Dazzle or watch Razzle Dazzle and then watch this because we tell a couple of stories from Razzle Dazzle on this and it might be funny to juxtapose them. I had so much fun. I love my daughters so much. They are funny and fun and smart and great and so easy to talk to. So I hope you enjoy this episode as much as I did with me and Georgia and Isla. Isla sends me videos. There was one of some kid like taking his pants off and sliding <laughs> bare butt on a slide back and forth. And I then saw doing that. A flip. No, on a skating yeah, rink. I saw on, that like, the one. Skateboard thing. And it was like, what was the one that you saw last night? Oh the my toe. god! That Brooks with the toe with the, yeah, sock. With the one toe, the foot that was actually just one toe, and then the guys that were holding water in their mouth and they spewed it everywhere. Yeah, hysterical. Uh, how many times we watched that? Like four. Yeah, I couldn't stop laughing. And then Pedro Pascal. I love Pedro Pascal. What does he say? Um, Sakai. Yeah, I love you. Slay. Yeah, yeah slay. Yeah, slay. What? Well, uh, totally. Oh, slay. I love him. How good was his movie? The unbearable weight of unbearable talent or something like that? The unbearable weight of like fame. Extreme no, talent. Something about talent. I don't know. Like, Should I look it up? It's a uh, tremendous talent. Yes. The unbearable weight of tremendous talent. The Is tremendous that what it's weight actually of called? unbearable talent. I don't know. Something like the- that. He was so cute in that movie, wasn't he? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The unbearable weight of massive talent. Massive talent. He was Did we so say cute. terrific talent? Terrific. His he was talent so cute. Is, his talent is terrific. His talent is terrific. Me and all my neighbors and all my friends, he had this show called The Last of Us that yeah. I think Isla watched. Yeah. yeah. And I watched until like episode seven or something. Every single week, we would all climb in one bed and play on a computer and watch Pedro Pascal. You know it's based off and a we video all game. Sent him, yep. And we all sent the edits of him. Oh, you did? And he's so cute. He's very him. cute. He's precious. He's special. He I just want to shrink energy. him down and put him in my pocket. <laughs> he gives dad energy. He does give dad energy a little no, bit. No, our dad. I know that. Our dad? That's what no. I know you meant. He does give your dad energy. Not Papa J energy. Yeah, no, yeah, no. no. Not, no. not Papa Different J. energy. Different energy. But both very warm and loving and lovable. And right? Teddy Bear, and I feel very... And sen- Baby like, Walrus. Baby oh. Walrus. He gives Baby Walrus energy. So, uh, this is still really hot. People ask if Baby Walrus is true. Is Baby Walrus true? Yes. Why would it I don't know be? how he tells it on stage. I, I haven't know, watched you, you this haven't thing. Watched so. it, so you tell it, and we'll. Since you haven't seen how he I'll sees it. it on stage, I'll tell it because I made you it. You tell up. what really oh happened. Okay. I tell it because I made you it. You go up. ahead, kid. So we were in Italy, yeah. and we went down to this little this little coffee shop to get these. Like you guys got coffee. I think I got Diet Coke. As per normal. As per normal, yes. And then... Um, and watermelon. I'm getting there. Oh, my God. And then we ordered some watermelon. <laughs> it had, like, little um, things to poke it and to eat it. Skewers? Yeah. Um, or toothpicks. I don't know. Um, and then our hotel was a little bit down the way, and Dad was taking a nap. And he, we, he came over, and he was in such a little skipping down the sidewalk mood like he was really um he was Giddy. in a precious mood he, he was, was in a precious he was mood. precious and then he, he precious. came to sit down he walked over to sit down and he sat down he was like watermelon ah! <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then he and munched then, and then i said you're like a baby walrus <laughs> and then uh, now we've just been saying that every time he like gets excited yeah someone brings him a drink and he goes uh what was what was he drinking um, shit! What was that drink he liked so much while we were there? Uh, Aperol spritz. Aperol spritz. Oh ah. my god! And there's this one photo of him like. Oh, and there's yes. one photo where he's like smoldering. There's but, like, also not that good. video he posted on his story where he was when we were gonna go on that cruise, and he goes, I'm "About to go on a sunset cruise, and I'm about to be cute." <laughs> <laughs> 
as fuck. Here's my outfit. And then he's like holding his fanny back like completely out of the side and his like hips popped. <laughs> Such a That's girl. baby walrus. Such a girl. <laughs> and then that one photo of him when he looks <laughs> so like, are we weird? Okay, so we were in Hawaii with me, Peter, and Zay or Annie, and it, and Mans. Forgot and about Mans, but we were all there. <laughs> it was such an odd trip, but we were taking surfing lessons, and everyone got really sunburned the first day. So Dad, the second day was like, oh, like I gotta put on. He bought like. SPF like a hundred like zinc <laughs> sunscreen. He bought paste. He bought paste. And so he was putting Sour it on his cream. face and he was worried that it wasn't rubbing in. So I, as I took a photo of him rubbing it in, that was like five consecutive minutes of him <laughs> trying to rub it in. And that was still what it looked like. And I took a photo of him like that. And then we had to wear these like, um, these, uh, what's it called? Rash guards. Rash rash guards. guards. These rash guards so that the <laughs> instructors could tell like who was in the lesson and who wasn't. And they were all like kind of like a large, like it was like not... Not right size. Not right sizing. So like mine was really big, and then Mans's was, Mans was like the only one that it fit perfectly because <laughs> Mans is like the he thinks he's the perfect human being on the planet, and honestly, the rash guard proves that he is. Oh yeah, and the rash guard proves that he is. Dad had to put his on, and he put it on, and he put the sunscreen on, and he put a little hat on that tied really tight out. around out. his neck, and then he made me take a picture of him and Peter, and it was so funny. That is he really funny. White white zinc face, and then he's really tight everywhere <laughs> and, else. But he's so neck, happy. He's like tight with the cur- like a turtleneck. Oh my god! But he's so happy. He's so cute. He was so happy you went on that trip, Georgia. It was so fun. He talked about it forever. He it was, was so happy. so fun. It was really great that you guys did that right before you went to college. Mm-hmm. You know, he travels so much. I see you all the time. But that trip was really important for him. It was so much fun. Was it? It was so fun because Dad and I, like... Because Wah Wah wasn't there? Well, no! Wah, wah, like, mom, Dad and I haven't wah, had, like, a, alone time. Like, we don't have alone time at, ever. Like, we used to when I was a kid, but we don't anymore. And then I went with him, and all we did was make fun of Mans. <laughs> you did? Not really. Not really. Oh, but we all, we all had fun. And Everyone makes fun of Mans. I don't understand. No, him. like he's precious too. <laughs> Mans, he, he is being precious. silly. <laughs> he is precious. With his little blue hair. <laughs> his little it tuft right here in the top. His little wave. Right I think there. he. I think he dyed his whole head blue, but really just the front kind of really stuck. So it looks like he just took his bangs. Mans is so cutie. And blood dyed him blue. <laughs> Did the money it's streaks? Really funny. Mans, dad. Every single time we talk about that trip, um, when we were on, when we were surfing, they at the end of the lesson, like at the end of our lessons they told us to hang 10 and that's where you like have to walk to the front of the board and then walk back and Manzi they, my dad was just like in the water and he goes Manzi hang 10 and Manzi just walked to the front of the board and then face planted into the oh, water no. <laughs> and the no. board flipped over him oh, and no. dad and it was so funny because it was me Peter and Zay all sitting in the water and we were just laughing at Manzi but Manzi thought it was funny too that's funny, that's I'm, really, funny. I'm really glad you took that trip I think Isla should go next time and you, Mom. Yeah, for sure. Well, we, I was already in school. Yeah. She could go. You go, go back to school. I think you and your dad should do something else like that this year because you don't ever get to spend time with him. By, I mean, I was with him by herself all the time now because she's still at home, but you're not. Um, well, I, I only see him like once a month. Well, <laughs> so I, I well, that's true. I don't know. If that well, he's really been real counts. busy lately, huh? Yeah, for the past like year. Year. Seven years. <laughs> I don't think he's been quite seven that he's been this busy. But the past year, he's been really busy. I know it was. Is this the same schedule he had for Travel Channel? Because uh, I think it's the exact same type of thing. Not exact, but like it's pretty much the same. It's giving scheduling. Travel Channel. Yeah, it is giving Travel Channel. It's similar because the Travel Channel he'd go out for like fourteen days straight and come home for two or three, and then go out for fourteen yeah. days. Yeah, it straight. was usually Sunday and Monday. He'd come, come so, back. he'd come home Sunday and leave, like, Wednesday. Yeah. So. Because I remember we used to have, like, the camper parties. Yes, on Monday. No, on Sunday. Sunday night. Sunday or Monday, yeah. Yeah. Depending on when he got home. I remember sometimes Monday, too, because I remember everyone was like, oh, it's a school night. We all have homework, but we always, always did it. Yep. 
We did, right? Well, right. everybody we, in the campus made we concessions for Dad. Oh, we don't ever I see them anymore because Dad never comes home anymore. I mean, he does sort of, but he's just so busy when he gets here that we haven't had time to be social with the campers much. Yeah, Faza. right. It's always like one night at tequila, one night at tequila, and then he's gone for another month. Yeah, it's hard, isn't it? Oh, Faza, not hard. I mean, it is. Well, I was saying that it's kind of easier for me because, like, I was talking to Zay, and she was like, oh, do you miss your mom? Do you miss your sister? Do you miss your dad? I was like, I miss my mom and my sister more because I'm used to seeing them every day. But, like, I'm very secure in my relationship with my dad now because he leaves all the time. So, like, <laughs> hit me being gone and, like, him also being gone, I'm like, ah, oh, it's, like, normal. It's the same. But I miss you, too. Aww. Very we, much. Because I see you every too. day. I am super, super happy that you came home for spring break and i'm gonna be really sad sunday when you leave uh well if i might cry isla will you hold me while i cry i'll try oh, thank you you'll try um, <laughs> the good thing is i drop you at the airport and i go right into a girl scout meeting so i'll be distracted Aww. but it's been really nice to have you home it's been fun um i think we have a really good relationship i'm really grateful for it i do uh, too with both of you i have a really good relationship with both of you um so let's see. Dad in the special also talked about um, the escape room, right? Oh my God. Didn't he al- doesn't he always talk about that, though? Like no. Room? Okay. The other specials? I'm so upset he doesn't give me credit for that because he was writing his special and he was like, I need one more joke. I need to think, like, what, what can I use, Georgia? I was like, talk about me going to the escape room for my birthday. He was like, oh, okay. And then never acknowledged it again. And then I heard him talking about it. And I was like, you thief. That was me. It's not a thief. Thief in the He asked for a recommendation and you gave it to him. That's not thievery. Yeah, he, he didn't He didn't be like, oh, that's a great idea. He was just like, So All what right. would you expect for him to go on stage and go, so my daughter Georgia told me to tell this story? No, I would no. expect him to say thank you. Oh, to you personally. Yes. Oh, I think that's he has. In fact, I think I have heard him say that was a good call, Georgia. That was a good idea. Something like oh, that. Well, Maybe I not thank listen. you. Um, would you like him to go, we're not worthy. How does he tell that? We're not worthy. <laughs> <laughs> Baby wallet. Oh. Ah. Oh. Uh, how does he tell that on stage? Well, 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 you should watch it, but how would you tell the story of the, the escape room? What happened? Well, well it was all just a blur. No, okay. it was a blur for I'll you. tell yeah. this one because I was told Baby Wallace. It was fucking chaos. No, it was scary. There. No, there was bloody handprints. I got freaked no, out. There were not. Yes. Yeah, there were. You are blind. Yeah, they okay. were on the floor. <laughs> Chill. <laughs> there were bloody handprints. Chill. And okay. when you opened the little uh, hatch, no, there was stop, going into the other room. It. There was like stop it. a murder stop scene. Stop it. I will tell this one because you told Baby Walrus because you wouldn't let me help you. Well, that's mine. <laughs> uh, this is mine because it was my birthday. <laughs> so I was, I think I was turning 13 and I, stop it, Isla. <laughs> I don't like her right now. <laughs> she didn't watch my video and now this is happening. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, but it was do, your but birthday. But fine, we won't go after this. Yes, you will. It's your birthday. Yes, you will. No, I will. Anyways, it was my birthday, and I really, I was, I remember sitting in Isla in my old room, and I was talking to Isla. I don't know if you remember this, but I was talking to Isla, and I was like, I really want to do something like torturous for my birthday. And Isla was like, Oh, okay. And we're talking, we're talking. And I came up with the idea to put our entire family in an escape room because everyone has anxiety and everyone doesn't deal <laughs> do with high stress situations well together. Uh, I just remember you talking about Papa. Maybe not everyone Yes, because all I was Papa. saying was, she was I like, really want be so Papa and Dad to fight. And I want that for my birthday present. To fight. <laughs> and I, so I you told, mean to argue. Uh, yeah, argue. Not to fight. <laughs> so I told to physically mom throw and each other dad, into chess. Right. Yes. So I told Mom and Dad that I wanted that for my birthday and everyone i don't remember if everyone was like hesitant in the beginning but like we oh, all yeah everyone was well zay zay wasn't zay zay wasn't but she had team player. papa was definitely like what it's yeah. a what and then we <laughs> go and it okay it i remember some of this because i did talk to you about it but it wasn't an old house it was someone's house like it wasn't in like because usually they're in like big trailers that or they like mall. park or like strip malls or like um no, those but, uh, before you move forward when we called al and Gigi to tell them uh al was like a what I, I don't even I don't even know what that is. And Gigi was in the background going, "Oh yes, yes, oh an God. escape room. Yes, I've read oh about this. God. I'm oh my 
always wanted to do an escape room. Yes. Tell her, yes, we will be here. I love Nana. I mean, she was like all about... The cool thing about Nana, just to pause your story Mm -hmm. for a second, Nana is really pretty hip and savvy to what's cool now yeah, I know. for someone yeah. who's 75 years old. Yeah. It's really it's really weird. Isn't it's it really awesome? weird? But it's I really love cool. her. She's so fun. She's so fun and she's like gets a new device. No and this sounds stupid to people listening, but like my dad gets a new device and he's totally melts down. He can't figure out how to use <laughs> anything. <laughs> like the, the device or, frame. Um I, I can't use it. Yeah. There's anything like that. Nana's on it she's got it she's savvy she's slick Pop she's on really <laughs> plugged in as a 75 year old to what's happening mm-hmm. it's so cool so anyway she knew what an escape room was i had was. no idea she's and so she cute was so excited she i love her that's why i knew i knew like nana would be on my team like anytime i do something stupid i'm like oh, nana's gonna get it i love nana, <laughs> nana totally gets nana it nana gets it mm-hmm. um so we all go to this big abandoned house and I had been there before because I had done an escape room before in that same house but we were in a different room right so I and the house was painted black and the house was painted all black the windows were black it was like in the center of a dead yard and remember there was like a chain link fence around it like yeah it was on the corner it was like on the corner corner of like a neighborhood it was so in a neighborhood it was so scary (laughs) because I remember also sending dad the directions of how to get there and he mapped it and he was like why is this in like a residential neighborhood and i was like i don't know so we go in and i don't remember the guy but i you don't no i do oh i do you explain it i don't remember the. oh no i don't want to you can explain and i'm not good at explaining he was young and wasn't he wearing like a bathrobe yeah yeah he was wearing a bathrobe he was yeah Yeah. he looked like he's like rolled out of bed and went hey guys come on in (laughs) yeah (laughs) and then the office was just like really odd too yes oh there was an office and i remember there was like cameras and stuff yeah yeah that was the creepy part all the security cameras but it was just so they could like see inside the escape room yeah and watch us and then i remember going inside do you remember having to leave everybody's cell phones outside Yeah, everyone Uh had to leave their phones and their bags and stuff and that's when dad started freaking out and i think Cotty started freaking out Cotty wasn't with us Cotty wasn't with us no it was just say because teddy was oh actually i remember that teddy was too young okay so i remember dad started freaking out at that point and I think Papa did too. Yes. I think everyone, that's what everyone started figuring out. But Nana was like really excited yes. still. And we got on the escape room <laughs> and it was literally just mom figuring everything out. No, you helped me a I lot. helped mom too. But Isla like, was watching the pandemonium that was happening between Al, Gigi, and Bert. <laughs> and I was looking at all the furniture in there. And, I, and I was Gigi was just, down. do you remember Gigi never stopped talking? Oh my goodness, look at the feather. There's a feather. <laughs> what do you think? Is there a clue with the feather? Let's yeah. look at the I feather. I actually remember that. Remember I remember that? her yeah. doing that. And, and I remember Isla not doing anything. <laughs> Isla I was, was watching. watching the family <laughs> dynamic. And then I was watching everything go down. And then mom and I were like finding like finding clues and we were solving everything. And I remember very specifically <laughs> I think the lights turned off. <laughs> well, you had to pull like a lever or push a button or something. And when you did that, all the lights went out. And a trap door opened in the wall. That's when I That's started right. panicking. That's right. Don't you remember? Yes. So the lights. So mom and I are figuring out all the clues. We either pull the, bu- pull the button. We either push the button or pull the lever. And all the lights turn out. And all we hear is a thud. <laughs> and the lights turn back on. And Nana has ended up in like a treasure chest. Like, like a sewer tunnel. Butt- down yeah. in, a trunk, in a trunk and <laughs> papa had pushed her <laughs> because he got so scared and dad was doing what he did in the london dungeon where he held me and isla in front of him because <laughs> yes. he was scared <laughs> he had you both like around the neck as yes. a human shield and Gigi's in the trunk going ow ow <laughs> you pushed me in the trunk ow and he goes she tripped yeah. She tripped. But we all knew he and pushed he her. He totally pushed yeah. her. He completely he pushed freaked her. out and, and pushed her. And dad was holding us like human shields. And then I remember we had to <laughs> crawl up, like climb up like stairs to go into the next room. It was this really thin. And dad like, with the blood did not want to do thin, it. Thin, like mm-hmm. really thin staircase. Did like, he not even come in? Didn't he just stay in the other room? No, he went. Oh, for a minute. It took yeah. him a minute. 
to like unclaustrophobia. Like, he get was in. so scared. He was, he was so, so scared. scared. But me and Isla and mom were all like, oh, let's just go. Let's just go. Like, let's just do this. And we were all really excited. And dad was and Zay. freaking out. Zay was Zay. Having I, don't Zay was if Zay, I don't remember that. She was there. Okay. Yeah. No, I remember her being there. I don't remember if she was excited or if she was panicking. She no. was, she was, I don't think she was panicking. I think, I think she was she watching, was watching with bit, me. Like I remember her. us sitting on the couch together, like that patterned couch next to the chest. The she was a little bit like, this is too chaotic for me. Yeah, yeah. fair. I, I'm out. Both of us checked out. Yeah, <laughs> too chaotic. Out. You and I were solving everything. Nana, Nana was Nana, in her own little Nana bubbly was in world. Her own world, and Papa and, and Dad were melting down. I don't know why they were melting down. I think they just. <laughs> oh, I think was, they translated the that room into immediate real danger. <laughs> it's because they're catastrophe thinkers, and they're like, "The guy has my wallet. We're in someone's home. It smells like shit. He was He's a dressed bathroom. in a bathroom. <laughs> There's a construction fence around the house. The house is painted black. There's no landscaping. I mean, we can't like, get all out. These the things door's Together is like murder. Yeah, yeah. It's red rum. You guys remember red rum? Yeah, yeah. I remember murder. red rum. It's like red rum, red rum. And so, then I remember we went up into the attic, uh, which is. At, like through that crawl space and I think we had to keep solving things and yeah. I keep and I think that they kept making noises uh-huh. and the noises would scare the yes. fuck <laughs> out of dad <laughs> but yes. it would be like boom 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 my dad would go Whoa! <laughs> and he would get so scared yeah. and then he'd grab onto either me or Isla and then Papa would scream at dad for being scared and he'd it wasn't be like, it like an all wooden like room yes it was all like, wooden room it had several doors in it yeah. yeah, and then there was a closet that had a ladder on the wall that yeah. went up into the actual attic, mm-hmm. and that's where one of the, I had I went up in the, in that actual attic. I didn't yeah. want, I didn't got, want to go up there. I was freaked out in that room and got a. Yeah, that room was a little creepy I got because really it was freaked like out. a bare room, right? Yeah, I got really freaked out when we walked up the staircase because it was like bloody handprints on the floor. Yeah, there were bloody handprints and then, everywhere. Yeah. <gasps> But yeah, I crawled up in the attic. And I think the final clue was in the attic and it was like some kind of number combination. We had to figure out a combination of numbers to To open open the the door. Yeah. But there was no old lady in the closet. No. 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 I think the other thing is dad and papa were scared there was going to be a person in there. Yes. Because (laughs) some escape rooms have (laughs) actors. They were scared of like Jump scare. Yeah, they were scared that someone was going to jump out of the room and scare them. I mean, they were shaking the door, so I get where they the were, fear yes, was coming from. They were making from. noise, yes. They were making noises. They were so scared. How scared? It was so funny. I want to do it again. It was I want to do it again so, so we went to a real escape room, like at, at a strip a, mall. At a strip mall. What do you mean a real and escape room? Remember for Sydney's birthday? Yeah. Where it was like No, it was for thing. Lou's birthday. Was and it Lou's birthday? We had to Lou. split into two yeah. groups. Do you yeah. that, that was for Lou? I thought that was for Sydney. No, it, it was, was for Lou. Lou. And it I was, was in, in like West Hollywood or something. It was in West Hollywood, yes. I was in a group with Sandy, Dad, and Carter. And Kylie. And, and were, Kylie. You mean the loser group? Um, because I'm sorry. We my won. group was so bad. Yes. It was only me solving things. And uh, Kylie was screaming, like yelling, not yelling at her mom, but she was just like criticizing her mom because Sandy would go around and just point at things. <laughs> and like she would just be like, oh. And then just do that. And I was like, okay. Or like Sandy would try and help me with the clues, but she was just so wrong. That was a lot was of reading. Like, like you had to read and figure things out. Yeah. It was a more brain yeah. driven Carter escape did room. Nothing. And it and was one room and you had to solve all these clues in yeah. a certain who in a certain amount of time. Yeah. That's um, how the other escape room worked. I don't remember We had a time that. limit. I, I, well, I knew there was a time limit, but I guess, yeah, I guess. But that one had like a clock in the yeah. room where where you were definitely aware that time was not on your side yeah. in the one in West Hollywood. That dad we to. also, Dad and Sandy, all they would do every like 20 minutes was put their ear to the wall and try and hear what you guys were talking about. <laughs> Because dad was like, I refuse to solve this on my own. If Leanne is in the other room, I will be cheating. And then him and Sandy would try and cheat or they'd try and look for stuff that like, like there were some signs that says like, do not remove. They'd try and look for things that would move, like that you could pick up and they'd be like, oh, this is a clue. That that sounds like them. But you were with us. Yeah. I I helped you guys solve things. Yes. We did it together. Me and Tom were like, so guys what do you think this clue means? And they'd let them try to figure it out. And then if they couldn't figure it out, we'd go, well, how about this? And then we'd 
we, I mean, it was hard. It's not like Tom and I were like, yeah, the clue is this. We were all, we all, right? Didn't yeah. It I, was we like all a group tried effort. to incorporate the kids in it because we were the adults in the room. And, no, uh, I had Dad and Sandy. And we still won. Yeah. <laughs> we we won by won. like 30 minutes or something, right? It wasn't. Oh, we didn't it even wasn't complete that it. Long, but it was like 12 minutes. It was a long time. We won by a lot. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it was pretty funny. Uh, and we thought to, I said to Tom, they've maybe mispaired us because <laughs> one of us should have been in that room. Yeah. <laughs> it should have been like. Poor George Bird was and, like, Bird and Tom oh, and me and Sandy. I was the only one. Split them I was like, I saw that they just separated the groups and I was like, are you kidding me? I know, right? Because Tom and I are the same and Bert and Sandy are the same. Yeah. So they should have like had Tom and Bert and me and Sandy so they would get a little more balanced. Yeah. But it was fun. It was so fun. I, yeah. I, it was really fun. It was really fun to be with Sandy and dad and Kylie and Carter. Sandy and your dad. Are so crack me up so much they you know they have such a good friendship the two of them sandy and your dad yeah, they're, you say, the, they're the same they're, they're so interesting so funny they're all about fun yeah like their whole thing is what can we get into and how much fun can we have yeah and they genuinely enjoy each other's company so much and so they're both scorpios they're both scorpios and uh yeah, I love watching them do shit like that together because it's they're just hysterical. They're so interesting. Well, so so yeah, Dad they're stayed so pretty close to the truth for that um, uh, escape room. You guys weren't at the wine raffle, but that's actually the wine raffle true as well. When we first went to elementary school, <laughs> um, there was a a wine raffle fundraiser. It was in a restaurant. And at that time, our the school you went to was really good at fundraising. But the other elementary schools in the area hadn't really figured out how to engage their parents in fundraising. It's a public school. So a lot of parents' perspective is, well, it's a public school. But to, to kind of supplement what the school district doesn't pay for, uh, our elementary school did a lot of fundraising, raised a lot of money that helped supplement the budget. So for this particular fundraiser, we were raising money for a neighboring school. So everything that we raised that day, we were going to gift to our neighbor school, to elementary school. You can bleep that out if you want, but that's where that whole fundraiser was for that school. Mm -hmm. So once the people showed up and found that out, nobody wanted to buy raffle tickets. That's stupid. It was really shitty. So Darren Turbo was running the raffle with Parisa and, uh, <laughs> and babies. Uh, dad was like, what's going on here? Why isn't anybody buying raffle tickets? And Darren was like, I don't know. It's a fundraiser. Like, it's not for our school. It's for the other elementary school. So nobody's really motivated. They're just kind of here and do just going to do the wine tasting. And he was like, well, that's that's bullshit. How much did you want to raise? And he said seven hundred dollars. That was our goal. And he was like, OK, well, how much have you sold in tickets? And he's like. Fifty dollars. He was like, "Okay, well, I'll buy six hundred fifty dollars worth of tickets and then close the raffle." And he was like, "Yeah, but if I close the raffle, I think you're going to win a lot of the prizes." And Dad literally said, "Oh, I plan on winning all the prizes. <laughs> if these assholes are not willing to give money in a raffle to a neighboring school. Yeah. They don't deserve any of the prizes. So here's six hundred fifty bucks. Close the raffle." I had bought two raffle tickets because I knew that your dad was going to buy a million. So I bought two for myself and let him run his own game. I didn't want to share. So I bought two. <laughs> you didn't want to share. I didn't want to share. I spent, I spent 40 bucks. <laughs> so of so the 50 evil. bucks they raised so or something evil. like that, I wanted my own. <laughs> and the numbers may not be right. A few people had bought one or two raffle tickets at 20 bucks each. And then dad just met the goal and closed the raffle. Well, well, your dad, they started calling numbers. And of course, your dad won. He walks up, gets the first prize. He wins the second prize. He wins the third prize. He's getting louder and louder. This was when you were in first grade and you were in third grade. So we had barely been at this school. Oh, God. Oh, and my God. This is when this is how we found our friends. The Fromkins were there. Sandy was there. The Turbos were there. And I think the Grusins were there and they were all laughing hysterically. And then there was this other set of parents that were really angry because dad was winning all the prizes. There was this one dad who was physically shaking. He was so upset and he was talking to 
Ms. Gomez, the principal, about making this stop. There should be a limit to how many prizes someone could win in a raffle. This isn't fair that he had a budget for his raffle tickets and he couldn't come in and buy out the raffle like dad did. So Ms. Gomez came to me and said, you're going to need to make him stop doing this. And I went, oh, honey, that's not how a raffle works. You buy tickets and you win prizes. Mm -hmm. And that's how a raffle works. So you should have set that parameter in place before this started. I'm not doing anything. And by the way, he's just getting started. Like this is, you know, his he's shirt's still on. Started. I said, his shirt's still on. He's still wearing his shoes. We haven't even started this party. So Miss Gomez got really upset at me. And Ms. I was Gomez like, was whatever. A piece of sh- she was, a, she was work. an interesting lady. Piece of work. She was a very interesting lady. <laughs> so at the end of the day, Bert won almost every prize. And this is absolutely 100% true. The last number was drawn and I won the last one. <laughs> So between the two of us, there were maybe 15 prizes. I actually and, remember you guys coming, coming home. home and yes. like bringing like a like we won 12 prizes. I was going to say 12 like you brought home. We a did. Lot. We won 12 prizes. And I think there were like 15 total prizes. What's a real bummer about Who won that? the other three? I, I don't remember. The, probably uh, the $50 worth of people. But uh, but it separated the uh, it really was a great leveler because we knew then who we could be friends with and who we couldn't yeah so we were like this group of people gets the joke this group of people really takes life a little too seriously and we're not interested yeah so that's actually cool but the negative is that's not why we did it that just was the end result was that same group of people that understood the joke are still our friends yeah. today, which is really cool. Oh, I wish I was there. It was so insane. It was so fun and funny. And I got the biggest kick out of it. And I could not believe the last number that I called. I was like, oh, my God, that's me. <laughs> he won all these prizes, but that's me. How crazy is that? So um, the negative about that is after that, the parents that were really upset about that, about dad winning all the prizes, went to the school Oh and they God. changed their policy with the raffle that raffle ticket buyers could only win one prize. What? And then the, no one bought raffle tickets the next raffle. Everybody's like, well, that's not the point of a raffle. Yeah. So so they'd buy like two tickets instead of like 40 or whatever. So bummer. Yeah. So that those, sucks. those stick in the muds who didn't get the joke, who realized who didn't realize this is a fundraiser, not a way to get a couple of quick TVs or, you know, uh, Fitbits f- for yeah. your house. That's not the point. The point is you give money yeah. to the school. You give that money willing to not get anything back for it, except that you've done something charitable. Mm-hmm. And if you happen to win a raffle, that's fun. You know? Yeah. That's the whole point of a raffle. I wish I was there. I want to see so Sandy funny. and Lynn and Eric oh. and Kathy and Steven like laughing. Were they we cracking were up? Laughing. And we <laughs> barely knew them. Barely. Really? Were they at your table? Or was Well, it was like an open bar, kind of we were all kind of mingling around in this tasting room. And where'd you get where'd you put the raffle winnings? Like the The raffle winnings? The pot. Like things. the prizes? Yeah. Where do I have the stuff we won? No, like where'd you put them at the time? There Did was you? like a table at the front oh, okay. that had Darren and Parisa who were running the raffle. Was Did Darren Parisa da- find it was, funny? Oh, yeah. Everybody Parisa? was like, well, Parisa, bless her heart. She was a little stuck between a rock and a hard place oh. because Miss Gomez was going to Parisa going, you have to make the stop. And Parisa was like, "Ooh, yeah, I get fair. the joke, but I have to, you know, my principal's telling me. And then... The principal, Parisa, came to me and I was like, oh, this is not going to. I said something like, I I don't know if he's going to. This is kind of the way it works. And then Miss Gomez something to me, said something to me. And I was like, no, 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 no. He's not going to stop. He bought these raffle tickets. You should have set that up ahead of time. Sucks for you. You don't get the joke. People are boring. People are so boring. And the, the, that's the point. The point is you give money. Yes. That's what a raffle is. And if you can only buy one ticket, you're not a sore loser that someone they should have been grateful that someone went came in and bought out to their goal. And now they've reached their goal. And that's why they're there is to reach the yes. goal, not to win a toaster. If you want a toaster, why go to Costco. They, exactly. Why would they be upset if someone like if if I forgot my train of thought. Never mind. That well, but, I would but, be pissing myself if someone won 13 prizes in a row. It was. Fucking I would hysterical. be so that would be so funny. It was 
Hysterical. Especially dad. He's such a character. It was so funny. So it was so fun and so funny. So that's a true story. And he's pretty accurate in the telling of that story. And his special is pretty close to what really the happened. The only part I remember in him telling that story is you winning the prize and him going, that's me. Oh, that's me. That really happened. I was in the way back of the room. I was talking to a bunch of, I don't even remember who, a group of women. We were just chit-chatting and laughing about Bert winning all these prizes. And when they ran, I just checked my number and went, oh, my God, that's me. And I got the last prize. What'd you get? Erica Long was in that group, too. Do you remember <gasps> oh, Erica? Yes. No. She was in that group. Her that was giggling? Her, yes. I love her. Erica and Kurt, they were in the group, too, that were like, this is hysterical. Wife of the Party is sponsored by BetterHelp. I was just having this conversation today on my way home from Drop Squad. I was talking about what therapy means to me because I am in therapy. I've been in therapy for a long time. And my therapist is a really key component to why I am so happy as a person and why I'm so successful as a person and why I have a good marriage and why I do a, a decent job as a mom is 100% for me personally because I am in therapy. Uh, it is so good to have a place where I can go and just complain in the most sincere, real, deep feeling way to someone about something that's going on in my life and they can understand me and help me to understand why I'm so upset about something. It's so great to have someone who knows my history and knows all the things that I've been through in my life and can give me perspective from all of that knowledge. You know, when you're in a moment and you're having a moment, a depressive moment, an anxious moment, a moment of grief, um, it's good to have someone, ha you, you, it's hard to have a big picture, but when you have someone like a therapist who has your history and has all this professional knowledge about the human psyche and emotions, they can really help you feel better or make better choices by just bringing that to light. I am a huge, huge proponent of therapy. I think everybody should be in therapy at some point in their life, even if you just have a simple problem you want to solve, even if you don't understand why your career path isn't working for you. You don't have to be in some deep mental health crisis. Although if you are in one, therapy is usually the best, fastest, most efficient way to get yourself feeling better. Discover your potential with better help. Visit BetterHelp.com slash wife today to get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash wife. Wife of the Party is sponsored by Warby Parker. Do you wear glasses? Because I wear glasses. I wear progressives because I, my eyesight is not bad enough to need contact lenses. So I have to have glasses. I also have prescription sunglasses. I hate shopping for glasses. I feel like it is the biggest time suck ever. I go in there. I try on 18 pairs. I walk out undecided. It stinks. Warby Parker makes this so easy. You can go into their store. You can totally go into their brick and mortar store. Or you can order this um, try home kit. I, for those of you who are looking, you can see it here. You get five pairs of glasses. They ship you to your home with a box to return them for free. It's a free try on program. You order five pairs. You try them home for free. There's no obligation to buy. They ship free and there's a prepaid return shipping label. That way you can try them on. You can see how they look. I'm going to do my free at home try on session with you guys. So, but I'm going to look in the computer for my mirror. So here's these I got. Oh, I like these. These are called Tatum Cognac Tortoise. I went green because I like green. Oh, these are fun. They look kind of gray, but they're actually green. Della in Viridian. Wow. These are cool also. And they fit my face so nicely. And they're also light. Okay, I got a little light pink one too. This one is called, let's see. Oh, these kind of just fade away into my pink cheekies. This is called Lydell Nectar. I don't know. I kind of like the brown ones. Maybe I'll get more than one pair. Do I look smart? <laughs> I think I look really smart. And then there are these. What do you think? I also have this other pair here. They're kind of like these, but uh, shaped a little different. Oh, I like these better. 
I do. I like these better. Now I've mixed up my tags. This one's called Durand Medium Rosewater. Oh, I kind of like these. These are cool. Okay, I think I know which ones I'm ordering. Warby Parker offers everything you need for happier eyes. Eyeglasses, sunglasses, contact lenses, and eye exams. And you can shop with them online or in stores. Glasses start at $95, and that includes prescription lenses. Try Warby Parker's free home try-on program. Order five pairs of glasses to try at home for free. There's no obligation to buy. It ships for free, and it includes a prepaid return shipping label. Try five pairs of glasses at home for free at warbyparker.com slash wife. Uh, that was true in Dad's special. What else have we done that was That's so interesting. True? Isn't it funny how he takes that moment in life and makes it a great, well-told story? Like, yeah. you don't need to know some of the stuff that I would put in the story. It's not necessary for you to get a really good story. Like you, I don't you, think... I think Georgia might have gotten that trait, but I definitely did not. I'm trait. really bad at telling stories. <laughs> no, no, you're not really you're bad not at telling I stuff. get caught up in my own, like... It's just a lack of practice. You should have practice telling That's stories. It. It's a lack of practice. It's like driving. Exactly. Failing the practice. test over and over again. Just I love telling stories. I understand why dad does it for a living. Oh, yeah. I love it's telling so stories, too. I like, don't. I love I don't it. I like it. I love it. I hate being on my phone. I would so much rather tell stories than it, be on my phone. Yeah. I, I like I started, to hear stories. I don't like telling them. You like hearing stories? Yeah, I don't like telling them. I met a person named Cheeseburger. Jesus. What? Where? At a co-op. His real name was Cheeseburger? What's a co-op? It's where... I don't know how to explain it. Let me look it up. It's like where people live It's in like, okay, do you remember when we were touring my school and there was that big building with all the um, bicycle tires outside of it? Yes. That's a co-op. That didn't help me at all. It's like where, well, everyone, that's where it is. everyone funds where they live and then everyone just uses it. Okay. I don't know how to explain it. That's what I thought it was. Because yeah. that's what it is like in New York, right? Mm -hmm. It's like a sort of, you sort of own it, but you sort of don't. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Person named Cheeseburger. Cheeseburger. They were very fun. And they let me paint on their <gasps> Every vest. time you say cheeseburger, I think of the cloudy with the chance of meatball cheeseburger. Like when <laughs> there was like the machine that was going like off rails and then it kept making cheeseburger animals and be like cheeseburger. <laughs> she like it burger. Yeah. I don't remember that. You That's don't remember that movie? We watched it every time in the car when the the I know the, I just the, the, heard it. The, I heard it, so I don't remember. What it are you doing? Well. The, the, what are you doing? The the flop down TV. I got her. Are you I got her. No, I understood what you were doing. I, speak I thought Bert. I speak Bert. No. Uh, this is speaking Isla. Like that. No, Isla and speaking, Bert have their own language. We have a different language. It involves His a lot of clicks and like clucks and yeah. clicking, and mine is whistles. more like like. Not using Hand words, motions. but use, yeah. Like, dad will be like, Peter, I need, yeah. and then like, Peter will be like, I started gotcha, doing buddy. it too. Although I say doodad a lot. You say doodad. What's old doodad's name? Hand me that doodad. Jig on my watch. What does dad say? He says, like, uh, finger bob. No, er, when he's talking about he someone. Finger bob. Finger oh, bob. He says, fuck face. <laughs> <laughs> he does say he that. He goes, what's fuck face's name? Like, <laughs> <laughs> he does say that a lot. What? <laughs> And it's not like people he doesn't like. It's like no, it's just it's like, like it's like saying do dad. He's like a hey, fuck face. You're like what? What do you that is way more appropriate. Yeah. yeah, I remember Isla has her own language. When we were kids, there was one time when we were at Carney's and we were eating with so many Oxana? people. No, we were eating with like uh, I think it was the campers or it was like it a was lot of kids, and we were really young. And Isla wouldn't talk for some reason I, like I she was in a non-verbal mood and so she just like kind of did motions and I like did stuff actually. like this and I just kind of interpreted for her and then everyone was just like what is happening and I was like oh sometimes she just does this and like sometimes you just have to interpret for her but it's okay it's just I love the thing about your brain baby is you've never been a verbal communicator ever not it, when you were really young <laughs> You were always a physical communicator. Yeah, that's so very true. It, you have been verbal. Uh, you came out of the womb going, "Hey, mom, what's up?" You're playing mind games with me, and I uh, can't, I can't understand it. No, yeah, no, and no. you People hit and bite and scratch and punch like, and <laughs> shred me. I grabbed me. your thing the other night when you tickled my knee. What did you grab? <laughs> I don't remember what it was, but I 
I grabbed like something on your midsection. I think it was like in my your mid- hip or something. And then you were like, ah! <laughs> what? My midsection. But this is something that's, that's why we had no biting rules. It was because of oh, Isla. I exactly. never bit. Like Isla bit and hit and punched and scratched and, and shredded me to pieces and kicked. And you were just a physical communicator. Yeah, and it yeah. sucked. And so you need to know that about yourself. Because you still hit me. That's why ju- ju- that's why you are picking up jujitsu so quickly, is because you've always been a I have physical. The worst creaker. bruises on my arms from that. But you you're picking it up like that. I mean, Jen, your those your leg locks said, are killing me. She said you're picking it up super fast, and that's why is because you've always been a physical communicator. Yeah, it took me forever. Um, you know, every time I would discipline you as a kid, I'd have to say. Use your words, and I, I may as well have said gobbledygook, blah blah. I bet, bet. I have da, to da. say, are you feeling angry? Are you feeling frustrated? Yeah, are you feeling that. sad? Yeah. And then you go, yes, I'm feeling sad. And I went, great. I have to give you the word <laughs> because in your brain you were just like probably seeing, just seeing red, <laughs> hurt, hurt, and, pain, and you had pain, the urge, kill. the urge in your body to flail and <laughs> lash out, and I had to go, no. You got to give me the word. What's the word? Oh, I remember holding you so that you wouldn't hit me <laughs> and say, you've got to give me the word. What's the word? You would hold if you, her? I would. I'd hold her arms next to her side because <laughs> she would hit me. Probably like this. I'm sure. I actually remember that. I remember seeing you would like hold right here. So her I, would. Arms would I would. I would hold her. She was like raising. She was like raising <laughs> like a Brahma bull. Don't know. I don't know. Like, didn't you jump off the fridge a bunch? She didn't know that was me when I was a child. She didn't jump off the fridge. I jumped off the couch. She jumped off the couch. I jumped on the couch a lot. On and off the couch. I remember I used to (laughs) when um, she was too little. For perspective, not when she was four. When she was like ten months old, she would jump <laughs> off the arm of the couch. I love so not the couch, the arm <laughs> of the couch. I've always had an addiction to thrill. <laughs> no, you've just always been really physical. No, but yeah, I, that's I remember very true. I used to like. Um, I used to hook my. I I used when we had the bunk bed in um the other room when the house wasn't remodeled. Um, uh-huh. I used to hook my feet onto the bunk bed and swing down whenever I had a sleepover and look at the people. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to know if they were still and awake. And they probably were like, ah, I know, me. I know. I hated so sleeping fun. with you Georgia so much. used to go, Mommy, what are we going to have for dinner tonight, Mommy? Mommy, can we have mac and cheese, Mommy? Mommy, what's going on now, Mommy? Mommy, you said Mommy all day. Then you had to t- change your name. It was so, yes. You Myrtle. said Mommy so much. I was like, my name is not Mommy. It's Myrtle. I can't hear Mommy again. You got to just call me Myrtle. And then if I, this code word, if I need a break, I'm just Myrtle. Mm-hmm. But you said it's so sweet and cute. Jeez. I used to mommy, say stop a lot. We have, vi- we have uh, videos of you talking to me. And just saying mommy before every before or after everything you say is the cutest oh, thing. Oh yeah, ever. when she was so doing sweet. the um the microphones. Yeah. What's so funny about mommy? What mommy, you funny about? What's so funny about mommy? Then there was you. I just kept saying stop. Who I hated I was sleeping stop with. It. Uh, and yeah, then the Papa Jay thing. bullied me for saying stop. Yeah, he would just go, Stop, stop is all you say. You only know that word. I know. Because like, George is an antagonizer. Okay, you also hit me and George because you verbal, antagonize me and you are I'm not, verbal you're physical and so all the only word that would come to your mind it's is punch. stop oh <laughs> like that's the only word your go-to word was stop I remember of, I don't like that or um yeah you know anything like that your brain simple doesn't like that it's father simple at thing. the lake one time had to sleep with you for a week and every single morning he'd wake up before you and complain about how he didn't sleep because oh because I'd kicked. kick him yeah you were yeah super. I still kick I, I remember now I've started to like yell in my sleep a little and I wake up a little. I'm I sorry, haven't experienced what? that. I well no, it's I've not like a you, weird like in a thing. Hotel. No, it's like now like recent like two days ago, I, I remember waking up next to Frankie and being like, oh like like something like, like this. That. Oh, 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 oh. Frankie hurt me so badly last night. Why? She's probably mad at you. No. I loved on her. I played with she's a season. You throw really her. Cute kid. Again. Don't physical. throw don't throw her. No, I throw her on my bed. Don't do that. Yeah. You, that's not good for her joints. I know how you throw her. I don't it's want like, anybody to think that you're abusing your cat. No. But you you do kind of like throws toss her, her on I the just wall. got a phantom meow. Like, like I just thought I heard a meow 
Oh, you did. She's talking to you from meow. your house. Meow, meow. So, summer, get off of me. We are going to be traveling as a family for a month this summer, huh? Yes, sir. We're going to Utah. We and are. we're all going to be cowboys. I'm dyeing my hair purple, by the way. You are? What? I've like, are you bleaching it blonde and then no, dyeing it purple? No, why would I do that? My or, hair is already dead oh, now. okay. So you're dyeing it purple Your with this. Dead. Your hair's well, not dead. Your hair's not dead. Your hair's looking really good. All the blonde. My hair's dead. Out. Yours doesn't look dead. It actually looks pretty good, too. Yeah. You're lying. That took so much longer for you to say. It ta- what? What are you talking Mine's about? Mine's dead. My hair's wet I'm right banded. Now. Okay, what are we talking about? I said we're you. traveling together as a family this summer, right? Yeah. Um, how do you feel about that? Looking forward I'm to get it. annoyed by Georgia. I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> what the fuck? Hey, Why? watch your mouth. Okay. What do you mean you're going to get annoyed by me? You just get on my nerves sometimes. Okay. Well, everybody As gets do on you, everybody's dummy. nerves. Don't That's, call me dumb. Yeah, I got you a milkshake and you started crying and screaming. George, that and was about other things. That was that about, annoyed me. I had a really bad headache before <sighs> and I had a really long day. I'll tell you what that was about. Why is your going in? Why are you going and into I hadn't us cried traveling? for three months. No, why are you going into us traveling? Your immediate thing is I'm going to get so annoyed by Georgia. Not I'm excited to see my sister that's away at college. Oh, interesting question. I've already seen you though. I'm with you. Isla, that's so mean. Because it's too vulnerable for her to say, I'm super excited to see with my sister. So what was happening with a milkshake is what we call, with dad, what we call re-entry. She hasn't seen you in a long time. She's not comfortable with the vulnerable emotions that she has. No. So Why are you that talking is true? About? Because this is true. Don't stop and it. Just so, stop it. See, You're she's saying. uncomfortable no, now with no, me talking about the vulnerability. Why are you being mean to me, I'm not being mean to you. She loves you so much and she missed you so much that that makes her uncomfortable. That's true. So she she shifts her focus. She projects onto the milkshake, onto the milkshake <laughs> what she it feels was, for I'm you. Actually, I'm getting and she was devastated really about the milkshake, sad. which it was, was really, really about sad. you. It was a really upsetting moment in my life. It was that she no. that your sister thoughtfully bought you a milkshake. However, she was delayed in getting home and the milkshake melted. So the thoughtfulness was so sweet that it made the devastation deeper. That's what it is. Okay, next topic. So, um, <laughs> yeah. So That's maybe right. you should Stop. say next I'm excited topic. to spend next all top. summer with George, you instead of you know me I too know- well, Georgia. You can't do this to me. <laughs> Say, say you're excited. I don't like that the first thing you said was, I'm going to annoy you. Well, and guess what? It's really healthy that she told you that That's she doesn't like that. Okay. She, I appreciate it. So, um, <laughs> wow. What you should say is, I'm sorry. I think, let me start again. You should say, I'm sorry. Let me start again. I'm really excited. You're being horrible right Listen, now. Listen, just like when you were a kid and I have to say, are you sad? Are you angry? Use your words. I'm going to give you some <laughs> words to choose from. Don't touch me. What you could have Don't said. Touch me. What, now that she said, hey, that bothers me. And this is a lesson Might for be. you. This is a no, lesson Lila. for you in all relationships is you have to hear what she says and go, oh, I'm sorry. Let me start again. Instead of hearing what I say and go, okay, I'm anyways. sorry. No, you're not. I'm, <laughs> I'm sorry. Let me start again. I'm sorry. Ow, grit me. Very good. Very good. Very good. Now what do you, do you hold say? Hands? You say. Can we hold hands? No, I'm not. I'm not. I'll give you some I'm examples not. of what to say. <laughs> I'm really excited to spend the summer with you. I am anxious. We'll we will get on each other's nerves. Yeah, not Same. you are going to annoy me. So just no, you s- say your own version of that. <laughs> We're gonna have a goofy time. My God. But you will get on my nerves. Okay. And it will be fun, but not fun when you're on my nerves. <laughs> I think that's very valid. What, and that's improved, right? That's improved. It's, it's not perfect. It's an Isla way of saying it. I'm it's so exactly excited right. for you to grow up and learn. Oh, she's learning. She's doing fine. Why you, do you actually you may be a little fine. too rigid I know, she's in what spiteful. your needs are? With no, her, I'm with being her whole fine. Video thing earlier. <laughs> I'm so upset. It was the one video. It's like the milk thing again. <laughs> <laughs> I don't feel anything. <laughs> You are so easy. I look at what it's gonna be you, me, and Daisy. I know, right? That's gonna be a horrifying dynamic. Shut up! Two blondes and a brunette. I'm not um, blonde. Uh, Thank you, more blonde. It's Charlie's Angels. It is Charlie's Angels. OMG, you're Lucy Lou. 
And I'm Drew Barrymore. <laughs> Thank God. And you are. And Daisy I'm is. in love with Drew Barrymore. You are? I love her so much. I want to meet her and I want her to be my best friend in the entire world. How, I love her so much. How come? What makes you love Drew I just Drew love her. First what? of all, how she do you is know so, about her? Okay, her Drew Barrymore show. Yeah. I've watched so many episodes of that. She's so sweet. She's so genuine. She's so smart. Yeah. And she's just like... And she's gorgeous, yeah. by the way. I have the and same thing with just, Dr. Phil. She's just such a beautiful human being to watch. And I am in love with her. Aww. I love her so much. She reminds me of you a lot. Oh, I feel like very along nice compliment with Reese Witherspoon and Jennifer Gardner. Oh. You would all get who along very Jennifer well. Gardner? Thank you very much. But I who, am in love with her. If that if I could meet one celebrity, it would be Drew Barrymore. How about that? And I would cry for three days straight. Oh, that's really cool. I would really meet cool. Dr. Phil personally. You would make Dr. Phil? Oh, I would. I love Dr. Phil. You love Dr. Phil, even though he is controversial. I yes. get that. Yeah, he's just God, he's baby. just a guy. Do you like his frankness? That yeah, he stays really frank, and he gets the point. He doesn't. He doesn't do like the whole like Georgia thing where she's like, "Okay, what? <laughs> why? Why go? Why, why are you me? Doing that? Why are you? I'm sorry. I, me? A and B. Your mother is the most frank person on the planet. But when I use my frankness with you, you hate you it. Get really upset with me. So like maybe what? the next time maybe I'm you're frank with you, like what? Like, like what? Like what? Okay. Like hey. What's going on with your English class? Mom, stop it. Exactly. Stop. Hey, have you talked to your English teacher? Yeah, I have. Unraveled. Uh, I'm I'm concerned about your grades. Unraveled. Maybe if you did X instead of Y, you wouldn't be in this position. Isn't that something like Dr. Phil would say? But when I say no, it, you're like, there's always Mom. Mom, mom, there's always. I can't talk mom, about this. If you mom. say it, if you say it again, I won't do it. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> what would Doctor Phil say if you said to him, Doctor Phil? If you say it again, I won't do it. There's always two sides to a pancake. <laughs> that's what he'd say. <laughs> I have sayings like that all the time. Like I'm sweating like a stuck pig. Yes, it's colder in a. Which you you bra. finna get whooped. That's, That's what you not what mom whooped. says. Ever. She says that to me. <laughs> I say it now as a, a teenager. Isla did get whooped. She got whooped. I only one time. I've talked about it a million times. Okay. No, but one by time. Papa. I spanked you. What? Too. Yeah, he when he right. Yeah, when he I was a child. You were in diapers, and he he went whap on your diaper. Yeah, she was so loud, and I think grandparents <laughs> that aren't vocal used cords to are loud intense. kids. Had a hard time with it. I like, I get, I tune myself out because of how loud I am in my brain. Like, I can't hear myself. You tune so I get louder. Out. So I get louder to hear myself. I think I have an ear problem. <laughs> like, actually. <laughs> Why do you tune yourself I don't out? Tune my, I don't mean to. It just gets like fuzzy. Like, I can't hear myself because I'm so because loud. Because you tune yourself but then, out. But then I have to get louder to hear myself. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And I'm glad then you if tune I, yourself Then if I go quieter, then no one could hear me. Okay. So then, well, sorry. Okay. Very nice. Mom. <laughs> Mom. So, Dr. Phil, so what do you think about um, Steve Harvey? I might cry when we meet Steve Harvey. I'm extremely nervous. Why? Because I don't like being on camera. Oh, you'll forget about that. Uh, It'll be like this. Uh, we'll just get into playing the game. I feel like I'm going to I'm gonna be a little out of pocket, how I always am. I'm scared I'm going to curse on TV. Well, uh, well you know, out, right? it's not a live show. They're taping it. So obviously you've got to try not to curse on TV. And obviously you, you kind of can't really be out of pocket. But if something. Also, Family Feud loves out of pocket. Have you seen some of the clips? Yeah. There's some of them are so hysterical. And I am such a fan of Steve Harvey. I might cry. I might actually cry. But and you're really totally good at Family Feud. I am good at Family Feud. I'm good at useless uh, questionnaire answers. <laughs> like Because I'm a really regular person. And when they ask the question, I go, oh, this. Because I'm just super regular. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And I think they survey regular people. I'm, I'm not regular, but it's okay. No, you're not I'm regular. not either. I I'm just the main sit character, there, actually. Go. It's going to be really fun. We just have to get into playing the game. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And winning the game. I just think how how my brain works. I don't know if this is going to be a good thing or a bad thing. What? Like, I think I'm going to lose us a lot of points because I don't. 
I don't think like if someone says like, what's what's a color? I would say like maroon. Someone else would say like red. Yeah. It's okay. I don't care if we win. I don't care if we win. <sighs> it's about having fun. Farmer. Shut up, Isla. <gasps> What? We have to keep watching oh the my Farmer God. Dating Show. Do you know this new show that we've been watching? Yes. What is it? I don't remember what it's called, but it's for farmers. Is Farmer Wants a Wife? Yeah. Farmer Wants a Oh, it's so good. Except some of the... one. This one guy I don't like that much, but... Yeah, I'm not a big fan of the same guy with the big blue eyes who's yeah. from... Yeah, never mind. I don't know. I just... Yeah. I think he's a little too, like, shut off for the show. I think he is, too. A little but too isolated for My too note long. for Farmer Wants a Wife is these... When you live on a farm, you don't see other people much. Like you have to go to church or you have to go volunteer somewhere or you have to like go to the grocery store or have a job job. Because when you are on a farm, you see whoever else is on that farm and that's kind of it. So a lot of these girls that were... Go, you know, putting themselves up to be a farmer's wife really do not know they what were they're from, in for. All of them were from New York. It's so much hard work, too. They were all from New, and New York. And you can't leave. Then, you can't go on vacation. No. All these animals are dependent on and you. And all these girls were wearing, like, fancy outfits for TV. And I'm like, just put on shorts and a t-shirt. They were definitely, And yeah. some sneakers. Yeah, that was interesting. The outfit selection was interesting. And the makeup. Oh, my God. Yes. They were all, like, full-faced makeup. I, w- Maybe I don't even know how wants. people... Yeah, but you don't have time to do your makeup like that when you really work on a farm. No, nope. some women do. No, they don't. I no, I don't even have. I don't even do. I don't like makeup. I, I do. So I think it's funny. I hate makeup. It I makes me feel like it. It makes me feel like claustrophobic. No, like I have like poop on your dung on paste your face. on my face, like dad's sunscreen. I don't understand why <laughs> eyeliner became a thing. Like. <laughs> Who thought to like draw like triangles I totally next to their eyes? I totally understand. Like, how is that attractive? Oh, you mean the style, Georgia. That style? Yeah, Georgia uh, eyeliner it, when it's applied the way it's supposed to is just supposed to be right on the edge of your lash line to make your lashes look pop. full. But it's not supposed to be like eyeliner. It's supposed to, you're not even supposed to really notice it. That's how it was supposed to be used in well, the beginning. Well, Cleopatra used cut eyeliner. Cleopatra did, but I think she maybe wanted hers to be seen. Yeah. Yeah. But I also oh think eyeliner hand. was is mostly used to bring out the color of your eye. Because if you if you have blue eyes and you have black eyeliner on, your eyes look like like a white walker. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's what I look like. Yeah, but that's really Sometimes cool. I'll see myself what? and Georgia, I'm I got so pale. You don't know the other side of it. I have black holes in my face. <laughs> you know no, nothing I, of the I topic. look like I eat souls. You don't I know look the so other scary. Side of it. I look like I suck the souls out of children. That's if I'm not in the true, sun. but okay. You you're allowed to have yeah. that opinion. I disagree. And with you're you allowed that. to have yours, and I don't think it's true. You have your eyes are beautiful. Yeah, your eyes are gorgeous. You have beautiful big brown eyes. They're so pretty. They're gorgeous. They have no and your eyes at all. suck the souls out of children. No, you don't. You have beautiful blue eyes. You look like you have depression. <laughs> Can you what? shut up? <laughs> it's like the. You know, why are you being mean to her? I'm yeah. not being mean. Yes, you are. Mom. That's why you say she's Mom. being mean to you all the time. <sighs> You're being mean to me. You've been mean to me all day. I don't. Know and about all that. week. I don't, I don't know about that. I don't want to talk to you anymore. Okay. She hasn't been I love letting you. me play my music in the car. I love you. She hasn't I allowed love, you to play Every music. single day that you get in the car after I pick you up from school, I go, oh, cue something. Put something on. Yeah, but then you... You played Gwen Stefani all day yesterday. I like Gwen Stefani. I like Because Gwen I Stefani. do too, and I let you play it. What do you what mean you, you never let you me play any music? Playing, it's just because I wanted you to finish that one Lana Del Rey song. Do you have dad's oh. imaginative memory? Yes, she does. What does that mean? Dramatizes everything that happened. No. I didn't say dramatic. Oh, no, I don't memory. dramatize. I, I'm a she real one. She never lets me play music. Well, I do that because I'm being, I'm making fun of, like, I'm being fun. No, you're not. <laughs> no, you're I don't, not. If it's a you're real topic, me. I don't dramatize it. This is a real topic to you. Georgia. All right, so where are we going tomorrow? When have I gotten mad at you for doing something really, I've gotten mad at you for doing something really wrong, but I'm real about it. <laughs> No, you're not. So this is fake, man. Yes, Do you yeah, remember? Like I'm just, okay. ex- I'm exasperating story. to this make is it ball like, busting. Yeah, I have okay. A story. She's ball busting. One time, <laughs> I love almost- Georgia. No, just- you're not allowed to do that. <laughs> no, mom, you know this story. I don't know. No, it's about the noodles. <laughs> no, in the car. The noodles. No, no, you're not allowed.
allowed to tell noodles. Please. No, no, and she stole my noodles. <laughs> I'm no, so I'm no, so no, Georgia, yeah, Georgia, you're not allowed to say this. No, it's really okay, embarrassing. Okay, you have to listen to her. She's saying no. no you're no, <laughs> no, no. It's embarrassing. <laughs> Sometimes people are very protective of their noodles. And Let's just extreme. say Georgia milkshakes. Georgia, you actually noodles. aren't allowed to say it. Milkshakes and noodles. <laughs> And, but then if I get mad at her at something for bigger <laughs> things, I'm not that mad. Right. It's yeah, not I don't true. I, no, actually, I have to agree. I have to yeah. agree with her because there's been some big deal things that happen. She gets re- she gets really upset. She very clearly expresses why she's upset. And then she moves on. It's yeah. the little stuff. <gasps> the, the little stuff. Because that, that has noodles. more of an effect. That's you sh- in a regular thing showing your regular personality <laughs> to me. And then... <laughs> And then Fine, if you the said bigger that, things, I'm allowed to say what the bigger the things. No, 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 you're actually not allowed to say the noodle thing. No, Georgia, she brings this up every time. Every time. Boy, boy, you know, resentment. Resentment is a poison that you drink. Me? And it doesn't affect the other person. Me? On both of you. She's holding a grudge because she keeps bringing up the noodles. The noodles. And then you're holding grudges in other For ways. For every single other thing I've ever done to you ever. And so like that resentment is a poison. Like the noodles? That you drink. <laughs> and kills you. No, she does, does nothing this to the every other time. Every time. You shouldn't have okay. done what you then did then. We'll put the noodles to rest. I yeah, want to bury the so bad. No, bury you're the not noodle. Then bury every it. single stupid thing you're mad at me. That for. doesn't make sense. That's only one thing. I have so many more. <laughs> like, why are you so mean to me? I'm not mean. I'm just real. No, you're not. You're just evil. I okay, say, I'm in a mood today. I'm in a mood today. Be yeah, careful. and I don't like it. I would say to you, Isla, be careful. Be careful. Be careful no, what you I'm make just a joke. I'm just and be goofing. careful. You're not what joking. You are holding yeah, serious. You're not. And, yes, I am. and Georgia, you also be careful. I am. Care- you are careful sometimes. Careful. So you, my lady, you guys are so different. Uh, you you have different motivators for your actions. Very different. I do things out of goof. No, you don't. Uh, You're in a mood I don't true. enjoy today. <laughs> you do some things out of goof. Let's not really get mad at each other, okay? I, I was just goofing. Okay, then why don't you say, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to make you upset. I'm sorry. I was goofing. I'm sorry. Why'd you choke on your words? She didn't. She wanted to make it her own words. Okay. I don't think she was trying to not say it. I think she was trying to not say exactly what I said. Yeah. Because it's yeah. not genuine if she just repeats what I say. Right? It's fine. Just don't say you get mad at me for every single thing that I do. Georgia is I a great did. sister. I just, hey, yes, you did. Yeah, you did. I did. So, yes, I did. you did. I didn't mean to then. I didn't mean to then. Then you okay. should apologize. I did. Okay. I okay. did apologize. Definitely don't do it again. <laughs> it's Here's the deal. Your sister is a very good big sister. She loves you a lot. She is not perfect. And she is not like you. So for you to expect her to think like you and be like you, You'll always be mad, frustrated, disappointed, upset. But to go love her as she is, is the key. And the same goes for you. I know. Because what makes, what will make you friends for life is that you're different. The reason I married dad is because he's different than me. One of the reasons. And no, so duh. if I just wanted no, to duh. marry me, that would be really boring. I'd have nothing to learn. There'd be nothing exciting. There'd it's, be no surprises. It would be really dull. Why are you screaming you, so much? You and dad are so different. Exactly. Yeah. And so I was like, no, duh. You guys are so different. And because you you're two, so linear and he's so like, duh. And linear. He's baby walrus. He's baby linear. Walrus. Non-linear. The re- such- I'm not that linear. I'm kind of linear. Yeah, you, yes, you are. You are linear. <laughs> hey, I'm linear, but I'm also highly creative. So people don't usually put those two things together. But you are linear no, and highly linear creative. Being linear makes creativity because you know things. And then you, can, a different you kind can expand of on that. Because you're being linear. Okay, you're acting like being linear is a bad thing. What? No. Being linear is a really good thing. If I had to ask which of you were linear, it would not be her. Nope. Oh, I know that. It's you. And the linear is the piece that that has 
it's your executive function piece where you can hit your deadlines at college, where you can advocate for yourself because you have a bad roommate, where you can, those, those are the pieces that make you linear. When you're PAing for something's burning and we give you a list and you just know what to do in what order and how to get that done. Okay. It's, it's your work ethic when you are working at fully loaded. That's all linear thinking. Linear. That's concrete linear thinking. Um, it's kind of being confident in like what you know a little too right well it is somewhat Mm. but for isla the way isla's brain always has worked is she's she's a broader thinker which is not linear so when she gets an assignment from a teacher that's like five steps step two and she's lost so she's she has a harder time going okay i need to go to step three and step four and step five she has to kind of be reminded and guided and given some time to figure that out that's the difference between linear and broad thinking. Your dad's the same way. Your dad is a very broad thinker. He'll sit down and have five creative ideas, but then can't fully execute on any of them. So he needs someone oh, else to execute those great ideas and expound on them. Wife of the Party is brought to you by Air Doctor. Do you have one of these things? It's pretty awesome. It's an air filtration system, I guess. Uh, I live in L.A. L.A. is famous for smog. Smog is, I'm pretty sure, air pollution, pretty sure. So uh, air filters are just kind of like what you do here. And I don't even hear this thing running. It's in my house. And I I, I, I put my air doctor um, in the corner of my living room. And then there's a plant like next to it. So, and it's white and my walls are kind of white. So it kind of just blends in and I don't even know it's running. It's the most amazing thing because it's so quiet. Um, Bert has allergies. Bert has asthma due to allergies. We have three cats and three dogs. So not only are we working with smog and pollution and general LA bad air stuff, we have compounded our problem by adding a literal farm into our house. So air purifiers are really the way to go for us. Air Doctor virtually removes 100% of particles as small as 0.003 microns in size. I don't really completely understand that what that need, means because I'm not a scientist, but that sounds pretty awesome. Their classic Air Doctor 3000 purifier is powerful enough to circulate the air in 630 plus square feet four times an hour. So that means that's a huge, 630 square feet is a large area. And four times an hour, that's amazing. Uh, Air Doctor features whisper jet fans that are 30% quieter than the fans found in an ordinary air purifier. I can testify to that 100%. They, I can't even hear it. I don't even know it's in the room. I love this thing. Air Doctor comes with a no questions asked 30 day money back guarantee. So if you don't love it, just send it back for a refund minus the shipping. So head to Air Doctor Pro, airdoctorpro.com and use promo code WIFE. And depending on the model, you'll receive up to 39% off or up to $300 off. That's incredible. Lock this special offer by going to A-I-R-D-O-C-T-O-R-P-R-O, airdoctorpro.com, and use the promo code WIFE. You're an executionist. What? (laughs) Executioner. Executionist. (laughs) Like, it's an ist. Like, oh, I had a really big problem with these two things. What? So... Why are oh, I thought this was like still describing an execution? No, so she's like, so broad. She skipped over. No, I, I think okay. So I said this to my friend Amelia the other day. I was like, "Why is racist and feminist the same ist at the end? Ist, it's like because it's like racist. Oh, that's a bad thing, and then feminist. That's a good thing. But they're both fighting for a cause, I guess. But like, I, I, be, what about but like, fascists? they're both. Narcissist? I don't even know what that Narcissist? is. But, Narcissist? Pacifist? No. Yeah, like pacifist. Like, is it's because it, it, they're both like doing something, but it's totally opposite direction. So I'm just confused why they have the ist at the end. Because why is it it's race a, ost or like race ost or like <laughs> <laughs> or like. Or, <laughs> why is there a sauce? We should change it. To- <laughs> 
Don't you make fun of me. Don't make fun of me. Which one gets the ist then? Feminist or racist? No, feminist. Or fashion. Feminist. Because it's like ist, like is. But then racist, because it's like ist. Oh. <laughs> it's like aw. Oh. It's like aw. Oh. I can't even think that. You killed me. <laughs> That's what your brain is. <laughs> yeah. Why is it resolved? <laughs> yeah. That's like too glamorous. And like says I'm missing glamorous. <laughs> That's so funny. Resolved. <laughs> Why is it resolved? <laughs> Oh, because like you're exhausting oh, 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 you a point. Are narcissist. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> for the negative. And then feminist. Feminist. Then pacifist. <laughs> Racist. Pacifist. So I have the definition here. <laughs> so the suffix the suffix changes verbs into nouns with the meaning of one that does. I don't get that. So like, I if do. you play the piano, you're a pianist. <laughs> <laughs> If you play the harp, you're a harpist. So one that does harp, one that one does that piano, does women. one that does narcissism, didn't one you... that does women. <laughs> Feminist. Would that be no, a... you... What is one that does women? Feminist. Uh, uh, womanizer. Gigaloist. <laughs> I don't know. Gigaloist. Vaginist. <laughs> Vaginist. <laughs> you're killing me. A vaginist. Oh my god, that's hysterical. What's one that does when? A penis? A penis? Penis? A rectus? I don't know. A rectus? <laughs> a rectus? It's like me, a homo sapiens. No another, another faction of the people that do things with penises would be a rectus, maybe. <laughs> rectus? Analyst? <laughs> an analyst? As opposed to an analyst? <laughs> and so I was like getting confused. I was like, isn't that a word already? <laughs> analyst. Analyst, isn't that? Why a do word? you have an ostrich behind you? Because it, because it works with the color scheme. What? Yeah, no, I'm not. I'm not disliking it. I love ostrich. It's a birdist. I'm just wondering because, like, it's an ostrich. It is. Ostriches are cool, aren't they? Mm -hmm. The feet on the ground, head in the sky. I don't know. Head in, the yeah, same, same. Head in the sand. And did you see my swan? You see that? Yeah, uh, there's a lot of birds in here. Well, uh, the swan is, you know, because Nigel, the medium, told me I was like a swan and Paula bought me this swan drawing. He said you were like a swan? Why? He I said on the surface, I'm like just gliding through life, but under the water, my feet are going dr, 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 all the time. And he was like, everybody looks at you and thinks you got everything together and everything's so easy and this is no big deal and I got this. But under the water, you're like paddling so fast um well, that, that's the part no one ever sees wait which is kind of a compliment a and kind i see of, was a squirrel you see me as a squirrel what the yeah. hell like little like you know like because <laughs> i'm like tucking nuts away for later <laughs> <laughs> bearing them for winter harvest <laughs> we just gotta make sure we got everything we need that's pretty funny i am kind of like a squirrel yeah a little squirrel. and then uh, i don't know what are you what are you, Isla? We determined that before. What was it we determined? A moose. A moose? No, that's not what we determined. Because I'm like a brick wall. No. When you run into me, no. you die. Oh, Sh shut up. Uh, you are five feet nothing. Five foot two. What are you? A hardly a brick wall. You're a teeny tiny little thing. You're like um, a pigeon. A pigeon? That's wrong. <laughs> Or a seagull. <laughs> That's wrong. <laughs> uh, That's wrong. George, you remind me of a snake. She I, that's my least snake. favorite animal. She's not you a snake. You call me a pigeon. What do you remind me of, Georgia? What are what kind of little animal are no, you? No, 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 no. I'm getting somewhere. <laughs> You're cute like a koala, but you move way faster. Like koalas move very slow. I love oh, those you are slower. Sloth <laughs> moving is slower. No, but you're cute like a koala. But you move... But, Tasmanian but devil. A monkey. Tasmanian no. devil is not cute. No, you're not a monkey. I love monkeys. You don't monkeys move are fast cool, enough like a monkey. Lizard. And you're not... Lizard. Lizard. I don't move fast lizard. enough like a lizard. monkey. You're not sneaky. Li lizard. Are sneaky. Lizard. Not a lizard. I'm not a lizard. I see a lizard. She's warm-blooded. She's not cold-blooded. Whale. You, on the other hand. Whale? No. Jesus, I love you. Maybe dolphin. Maybe dolphin. Maybe dolphin. dolphin. Oh, my no, God. Dolphins oh, molest people. That just... What? Dolphins no, are... They molest yeah, they do. Other dolphins. And, this is wrong. Dolphins I'm not a molester. What? 
No, this they, probably could be said in every animal community. No, it's mainly yeah. dolphins. Have dolphins you seen are cats dogs. having sex? It's horror. I don't what? need to see. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen tortoises having sex. Ah, it's really slow. <laughs> it's really slow. It is. It's like it's, it's like chip like, chip. Yeah, it's like it, it looks like it, it shouldn't work. It doesn't. I don't know I'm how scared. it works. I saw it on my fifth I grade see, field okay, trip. Okay, dolphin. I, I'm nah. sticking with that. A dolphin? Yeah, those are good Dolphins animals. are beloved. They're super smart. Here's, let me, They're like the third smartest animal. Can you stop animal. talking? Might let be, me pitch be. you why I think it's a dolphin. Okay. They're beloved. Okay. Forget the molestation piece. Okay. I don't know nothing about that. Um, <laughs> it's that they're cute, that they're really smart, that they're playful. And mm-hmm. that they are in pods, so they have lots of friends. Oh. They're beautiful and sleek and long. They're fast in the water. I want to be a pink dolphin. And I, I don't know. I just think that's a. I think that's great. I don't I'm know about dolphin. molesting. For they, they molest their own. Yeah. Yeah. And humans. No, they I don't read this story humans. that one chick fell in love with a dolphin and had sex with it for okay, three years. Okay, so someone did that with a horse. Well, that's it's not, ridiculous. It's that's a that's Mr. Ridiculous. Hands. Have you heard of Mr. Hands? That guy, that guy <laughs> cut and died from a horse because he had sex with it. Like, it's, uh, wait, his name is Mr. Hands. Uh, yeah. Why? I don't know. How do you, you know can probably about see this? His hands in the thing. How do you know about this? <laughs> How do you not know about this? I am this? taking your phone today. No, no. No, no, I didn't watch a video about it or anything. Oh, really? Well, I watched a video about it, not of it. But, like, there is a video of it online. And Ella, there's it's no this way guy. you watched of it. <laughs> I watched a video of a video of a video of someone who's on OnlyFans, right? No, 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 no. No, 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 no. I didn't watch a video of it. I watched a video about it. About Like, about this guy. He died because he had <laughs> sex with the horses. <laughs> the horse kicked him. Oh, my God. <laughs> and it's not funny, but... What, what are you? Am I? What chip are Mike. you? Possum. Not a chip. Bat. No, not a possum. She doesn't move that slow. Yeah, rat. Um, you are sneaky. Maybe you are a rat. Are no, I'm not a rat. No, you're not a rat. <laughs> I think I'm... You're like King Julian. Well, you sleep a lot. So what sleeps Mom. a lot? A bear. You might be a baby bear. I think Aww. you are. Am I a cocaine bear? You might be cocaine bear. No. I think you but are like baby a baby cocaine bear. bear. I sleep too much, I think. Except I didn't sleep at all last night. You don't sleep too much. Your sleep schedule is really screwed up in that you stay up way too late at night. You're just a really big night owl. I was this way, too, when I was your age. I would stay up till 2, 3, 4 o'clock in the morning. (sighs) Guess what time I went to bed last night? I don't want to know. I sleep for a minute, (laughs) and then I go to school, and then I go home and, and take a nap after cheer practice, and then I'd, like, Take a little quick nap. Maybe cheerleader. you're a hyena. Of Ella. course, I was a cheerleader. Yeah, I see that. I was Miss but... Congeniality too. So whatever. 1988, Bowden High School, Miss Congeniality. I still have my platter. Very proud of that. Your platter. I did not even get in the top ten, but I did what is get Miss Congeniality. What is Nana? I see. A woman, a mother, <laughs> an ice a dancer, a hominid. A hominid. She was a nice dancer, yeah. Oh, what animal was Nana? Yeah. What animal? What did, did we decide what you were? No. A baby bear. A baby bear. Or I don't see a bear. I do. You're pretty I, cute and you you're sleep a You're a cute lot. little bear. And I made you baby bear ears that you never wear and you probably never will. You'd be a cute little you bear. You gave them to me last What's your dad, week, Georgia? It's baby walrus? Uh-uh. He's a walrus. His father? He's most definitely a walrus. I don't know what he is. No, he, he is likes a water a lot. So he, he is, is a walrus. walrus. He is a cold-blooded walrus. A cold-blooded walrus. They're not cold. No, I know, but that he is for sure a walrus. Yeah, I think he might be. There's a walrus. no doubt about that. Walruses are pretty cute. Yeah. Aww, no, they that, are. no, he's like that walrus that beaches himself and is like, <laughs> you know, on the sand, just they're doesn't pretty care. Cute. They have whiskers. They have yeah, beard. they're tough too. Yeah, they are. They are very. They're warrior, like warrior guys. Yeah. Dad might be Mac. Uh-oh. Dad might be Mac. Mac might be Dad. Mac is a different breed. I don't. Mac isn't even an animal at this point. He's like a cartoon. That yeah. dog is so funny. He, he growled at me so last night because you were a little intense. Yeah, you were bullying. I was in- You were a little intense. Okay, I might have been intense. You were a little intense with the dog last night. You yes, were you were. Him you were grabbing his head and like pulling him towards you, and I was like, "Isla, you're being too and aggressive." And he growled at you like this. <sighs> Like for one second, the he was like, sign. "Get off!" But is he? Is he? I, is he? Lets me throw her around. That's that's a different temperament of, dog. God, totally different. No, temperament is he? Dog. I I is Izzy's he sat perfect. in front of me. I took her, and then she just 
and laid back on me. Izzy's a lot more needy. She knows than Mac. what I want. Izzy's really needy. Izzy's perfect. Izzy's my type of dog. Izzy's like emotionally needy. Mac just like she's pet a cancer me, mom. Pet me, pet me, pet me. He's physically he he's like <laughs> sit next to me. He's an Aries. He is. An his Aries birthday man. was yesterday. I don't know when his birthday was. It's sometime I, I got to pull his like papers and see. But yes, March at some sometime in March. Well, it was so. Um, summer. Oh yeah, we got off topic. Are you looking forward to the travel? How yes. you feeling about it? Besides getting on each other's nerves. I didn't even that didn't even cross my mind. Me neither, Isla. George. Me neither. Me neither. But I think it's just a reflection of today. Oh. <laughs> you are so full you're of so being done. attacked. You're done. You are stirring the pot. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. My B, my B, my B. Uh, yeah. Thank yeah, you. Jesus. Um, I'm excited because I liked working for four days and I really want to work for a month. Yes. Because at, at the like four day marker, I was like, oh, I know what I'm doing. Yeah, and I right. got like comfortable and like I understood what like it got in the routine and right. then I stopped and then I was like, Ugh, come on. Yes. So I'm excited to work for a month. I'm interested to see you, Isla, oh. at work. I know. I am too. I'm Everybody's very kind of excited. Interested. I feel like I'll be fine, but I think I, I'll get distracted. My concern with you is your migraines. Yeah. I want to make sure that you stay hydrated and that you stay on your pre- preventative medication. Hot. I know. I, st- I forgot to take it last night again. And, and then you got to um, get rest mm-hmm. because with migraines, that's we're going to be... Like, that's my only concern with you, Isla. Yeah. So we just got to make sure we take care of ourselves. And and I don't, how can I help you not forget your medication? Because you, you've got to stop doing that. You got to be consistent. I know, but I've only forgot it for like two days now. Uh, okay. But you got to, how can I help you with that? <clears throat> well, this is an interesting podcast conversation. I don't know. What I'm are my meds? Yeah. Well, yeah, she's, she has real migraines. She gets nausea. She can't. Tolerate light. I just need to take a nap. The though. only way I know, but you can't. Sometimes take, like, you're not four able to take a nap. naps. I Your naps take... are not like, hey, I'll be back in fifteen. Your naps are like three hours later. Right, I'll be back when the sun's down. And you need them. That's my point. Is I'm worried yeah. that you're gonna <laughs> get overheated and get headachey and have a hard time. Not that it's gonna oh, let get anybody overheated. down. Do you remember when I wore the sweatshirt? No, but you're gonna every need day. It, yeah, I know. In middle school. Like 115 degrees. You're it's hot. Listening. It's hot, 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 hot. I remember the first we'll day Daisy and I were working, we had just set, we had to number chairs on a baseball field and it was like 110 mm-hmm. degrees. Yeah. And we were sweating balls. Yeah. It's really hot. And we had to do it for like two hours. Mm-hmm. We we're like, <clears throat> <clears throat> got to get some good sun hats, good sunscreen going. I'm going to get tan. You are. You get tan. I can feel it coming. And I have an OnlyFans tank top I can wear now. There you go. <laughs> well, I'm glad we're all going together. I think it's going to be really fun. I and, do too. And you know your dad's super excited about it. I'm super excited. I do know that. We'll stop at the lake in the middle. That'll be really fun. Oh, I'm so excited. Me too. How long are we going to be at the lake? For? Um, oh, Over a week. Like eight days, nine days, something like that. I think. I think. I haven't looked at the calendar for I sure. Or my OnlyFans bikini. You're so gonna wear your OnlyFans bikini? No, I actually don't want to. I feel bad for Papa J. Yeah, I wouldn't do that at Papa yeah, J's. Yeah, no. Oh my God, he hasn't seen my tattoo. Nope. Oh my God, he's gonna kill me. Has well, have you told him about? No. It? Well, then you should probably tell him and let him settle into it before you get to the lake. Surprise! I'll just say he got it to match you. <laughs> I want to because that's why I did get it. Well, you can just blame. I mean, that's fine. I don't care. I'm not going to blame, blame you. Well, we're you know what I mean. Blame, you. blame mom for you getting a tattoo. Well, in his brain, he'll go, well, if Leanne hadn't done it, she would never have done it. So it'll be my fault yeah. anyway. That's okay. No, it it's okay. Be. I like my tattoo. I kind of spilled the beans. I'm proud of that part of who I was and am and are and will be forever. Is that's that- why I, everyone's like, you're going to regret getting a tattoo. And I'm, and I'm like, I probably won't because I'll look back on it and think of it's like when you listen to an old song and you get like memories of the song I, and like the time period. Totally. You listen to it. I think what when you regret having a tattoo is when it's somewhere. You're regretting yourself. No, you're regretting being no. born. I, right, I wouldn't wow. like somewhere <laughs> like on your neck or your face or something like that. Or something this like is, not, not stupid that you get, but something where you're like, oh, why did I get that? Yeah. Like. Parts of your body that maybe don't age as well, like your stun, like 
you're good because you're way up here on your stomach, but like oh. down here where when you have kids, your stomach expands. I don't want to not look great. Or do your butt cheeks expand when you have kids? Your butt cheeks do expand when you have kids. Yeah, for some people. Yeah, butt cheeks expand or get bigger, Isla. You know, if I'd gotten something on Same my difference. bicep in my twenties, I'd be real unhappy with that now because my my arms, as I've aged, have gotten a lot bigger, and I, I don't think it would look very sexy now. So, but I the have tiger. it on my ankle, ah. and it's I, I'm proud of my tattoo. I don't regret it at all. I have no regrets. I want one I on my hand. Tattoos. It's representative of a time in my life um, where I was trying to be independent and figure out who I was. And uh, be the master of my own destiny and self. And That's it's, what I was going to say. Oh, my God. We're on the, oh, man. You were going to say master of my own destiny and self? Yeah. It's kind of cool. When did it's you get it? What day? I or was not day. 23. What? Or maybe I was 24 by then. And I got it in New York City. I don't remember the day. Um, and the well, tattoos were illegal in New York City at the time. What? But piercings were legal. And so you would go to a piercing parlor and like almost like a speakeasy in the back room they would do tattoos like How illegally. Are they illegal I'm not sure they they just may not have had enough regulations in place to keep them safe oh or sanitary. something like that I mean remember this was 1993 it was a long time ago it's um, not that long ago. It was 20 years ago. Or 30, 30 years ago. It's not that long ago in the scheme of how long people have been tattooing. Yeah. But to have like yeah they you just couldn't get a tattoo in New York City. That's there were so no weird. tattoo parlors. I actually didn't see any when we were there this time. I don't remember seeing any tattoo parlors. I remember seeing one. So I went to a piercing place and it was on, I want to say it was like on Broadway down around 20th, 21st Street, somewhere down there. Um, it was upstairs and all the tattoos, the front room was all piercing. And then you literally went into a back room and they tattooed. Very and, nice. And I got a black hole sun. For Soundgarden, black hole sun. That's what it is. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's a black hole sun. Black hole. Oh my god, we need to talk about the experience. I, was it that it was that song, wasn't it? Mm-hmm. So Georgia. Isla, so Isla and I were I had to go to Oxnard um one day, no. which is an hour drive. Oh, you went, but you picked me up from school after. I picked you No, 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 hold on. I'm I'm backing up even farther. So Isla was what I asked her about had she ever heard this song from Alice in Chains and she hadn't and I showed her this song and then it I was, started it was Man in the Box it was Man in the Box and then um, we were driving to Oxnard and I started just you know spilling out grunge band names like hey check out Pearl Jam and these songs check out Soundgarden and these songs check out uh, Stone Temple Pilots and these songs to Smashing Pumpkins and these songs Hole and these songs so she started doing this deep dive into this early 90s grunge which was part of my music growing up and I think she really really liked it so we kept listening to all these early 90s grunge bands and one day I picked her up from school and we started and it w- s- go ahead you tell the rest because okay. I remember this so vividly I know it was kind of creepy um, creepy in a so good way. it was like the sky, like there had been a fire or something, but there hadn't been a fire. It was just like how the clouds were shown. And it was like really hazy and really like red and like really odd colored, like gloomy, but not not blue. So we were driving home and I was like, there has to have been a fire or something. And mom was like, black hole sun, won't you come? And then, uh, and then we just kept like, kind of like, Listening to my mom was like, let's just turn on the radio. So we turned on the radio and it was like a commercial, a commercial. And then immediately after Black Hole Sun started and it was so crazy because we had just been talking. Okay, for reference, we hadn't talked about this for like a week or two. Yeah, like that was like the last time we talked about that song was for like a week or two. And then she just out of nowhere started singing it after I ta- commented on the sky and how the sun looked really red and like dark because, it, yeah. And it was cray cray. You're right. That we did that. Cray cray. We did that deep dive into music like two weeks before that happened. Yeah. So it wasn't even like recent. Yeah. But we that did a cray cray. deep dive into that genre of music on that drive to and from. Right. Yeah. I mean, I got, I think I, Introduce you to a lot from that era of music. Except I listened to Black before. 
Yes. Well, yeah, a lot of these songs you'd probably heard before. Yeah. But to really go like the all these people were in this genre of music. They were all happening at the same time. And, and it's so sad because almost all of them are dead now. Almost somebody from every single band except Pearl Jam, I think just about every band is dead. Why? Which is really crazy. There's a lot of drugs. A lot of mental illness. Some suicide. A lot of addiction problems. Yes, a lot. It's really sad because so talented. Um, everybody's so talented. Oh, how do we wrap up this podcast? I don't know. We have to. Don't. I know you guys are going thrifty. Oh my god, what time is it? Twelve fifteen. Oh, 12 oh 15. I thought it was three. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> huh? we just started at ten thirty. Oh, it's not that bad. That's not well, that bad. Um, here's. I want to tell you what I've been hearing lately. Right about me. <laughs> what <laughs> about both of you? Oh, about, <laughs> about both of you. About us. Um, we're stinky. You know, how you represent yourself in the world, how you represent yourself in the world is um, really important. And all I hear from anybody when they meet you, all the people that work in this office, all the people that met you from Levity, all the people that met you through Whitney, everybody keeps saying to me, you have amazing kids. They're really grounded. They're really genuine. They're friendly. They're open. They're kind. And I can't tell you how proud it makes me and your dad when people say those things. Because dad gets the compliments about you guys, too. That is, you know, you just were in New York with us shooting Shane's special. Everybody you came in contact with commented. Uh, Director, the director of photography, everybody there was like, what an amazing young lady she is um she's fun she's funny she she talks to adults you're 16 and you have conversations with adults a lot of 16 year olds are not interested in that i know i had like a full-blown conversation with dad's friend in the trench coat that was trying to marry victoria what (laughs) I, i forgot his name Oh, shit. I forgot his name, too. I just totally blanked on it because you said he's not trying to marry Victoria. He wasn't, but, like, it was goofy. No. It was another comic. He was another comic. No, he's not trying to marry Victoria. A dad put that in everybody's head, and that wasn't actually what was happening. He was just there to be supportive. He's another comic. and And I was listening out of the corner of my ear to your conversation with him, and I was really impressed. But he said to me, what a great kid you have. It happens all through Fully Loaded, Georgia. Everyone you worked with, from the comics to the behind-the-scenes people, say the same thing. What a great kid she is. So thank you for being who you are. You're welcome. And thank you for representing yourself in a way that not only makes your dad and I proud, but should make you proud. Because that's the way you want to be thought of, is that someone who is good and helpful and kind and open and and bright and fun and funny. True that. Yeah, that's how I would hope you would want to be perceived. So thank you for being who you are. Oh, yeah. Because who you are is is two of my most favorite people on the planet, obviously. But it makes me really, really proud. Mm. You're welcome. I know a few more. I love our relationship. I love our relationship as the four of us, as the three of us, as the two of you, as me with Isla, as me with Georgia, and as the two of you with your dads individually. I think we do pretty Dad good as a team. You two are always a team. Yeah, because mom and I are smarter and better and prettier. I don't know about well, that. Dad and I are, are scary. Are cooler. No, we are all scary. Unique and excellent in our own right. And it's very cool that we have the relationship we have. And thank you for doing that. Thank you for being who you are. I love you. I love you too. I love you guys. I love you too. And before we leave, what do you think about this new studio? It's It's pretty dank. Wait, you're not a swan. You're a panther. I'm a a panther swan. (laughs) Ew. (laughs) Oh, Oh, it's like how people are like, oh my God, swans are albino. But you're like the black swan. (laughs) maybe i am swans are not albino i'm only panther when i'm drinking okay oh my god i want to see it on my day to day but then i get drunk and i turn into a panther so what is that a transformer i don't know (laughs) optimus prime (laughs) 
<laughs> Mom's <laughs> Optimus Prime. <laughs> I'm Optimus Prime. Yeah. So. Also, Dad swore that we had never seen him drunk before. What? Dad, dad was like, mind, Dad was like, yeah. Island, you have never ever seen me drunk oh, before he's so ever. Full of and crap. I was like, Okay. And then I saw him drunk later that night. I was like, Okay, oh, so no. you're a liar. <laughs> he's so full of crap. He's like, You've seen your mom hammered so many times, he but has never me. Such a grandiose vision of who he is is really hysterical. When who he is as who he really is is a good dad who is flawed, who makes mistakes just like I do, who loves you to the end of the earth and relishes the good times we have together. I mean, we went to see Cocaine Bear the other night. That was so much fun. And what did we do? We sat in a booth and ate popcorn and practiced Family Feud. My little fossil. And then we went into a movie that gave him a full-blown panic attack for two hours straight. <laughs> I know. I looked what over and he was like this. So much? He did not do well. It's like watching Bear. Frozen with no. him. Oh, oh my God. God. What are you saying? Oh, he that's put right. Sunglasses he did because he. I forgot about that. He, we, he and then like, we saw Anna, 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 and I was so like, she was like, "Go away, Anna," and she was like, "Okay, bye." And yeah. then Dad just started crying. That's right. I forgot. I was sitting on the end. He was sitting on the other end of you guys. So I, I think he feels him. like he's um the guy from I- Impossible, Mission Impossible, Mission Impossible, Tom Cruise, and then he's really just, he's really just. A a little bear. walrus. He's just a baby. Uh, didn't walrus. he cry in Moulin Rouge too? Yeah, he yes, did. he did. He cried <laughs> in Moulin Rouge. Well, I mean, I, a lot of people cried in that movie. He cried in Moulin Rouge. No, but Dad was like very adamant that he wasn't going to cry. He's like, I don't know, I'm not going to cry. Yeah, he I'm cries cry. anything love story or love. He also had a really hard time with Inside Out. <laughs> remember remember when the thing died? Bing Bong. Yes. Bing Bong died. Oh, he was a disaster when Bing Bong died. I know. I cried too when Bing Bong died. I didn't cry. I, I emotions. didn't. I, I cried. I watched it again though, and then I cried like throughout the entire movie. <laughs> I don't cry. Ru- that movie is amazing. That's They're making really, it inside out too. They are? That's not going to work. Oh, I'm out. scared. Are they calling it outside in? <laughs> Outside in. (laughs) (laughs) Anyway, I hope you have fun thrifting today. I love you. I love Love you, you, Mom. Thank you for podcasting with me. Thank you for telling the true stories of the Razzle Dazzle. You're welcome. The couple Razzle Dazzle. I think that was really fun. It'll be fun for us to listen years from now. Um, I don't think I'm going to listen to his things recently. Like, anytime soon. You don't have to listen to his stuff ever. Okay, I like. But, like, I get it. In the future, I will, but not now. I mean, to this podcast. Oh. That we can years later listen to this podcast and go, <laughs> yeah. Oh my God, that was so funny. You remember? Halston, can I push this button? <laughs> Please don't. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I've been looking at the whole time because it looks really like pushable. <laughs> what? Is it my foot? Is it my foot? Is it my foot? No! George, stop it! She stop did the covered off picture of her foot. <laughs> This whole time, I was just <laughs> gripping. <laughs> Were there grippers? Yeah, it's just been doing oh, this whole podcast. Oh I, I've been like thinking to myself, yeah. if I was a monkey, I'd be a really good monkey because I can grab a lot of things. You <laughs> And I can like, I can move them like, look, I'm gripping with them. <laughs> like it's, and then like, I'm waiting. Your toes look like they've had stunted growth. No, they do. I think you tell her. Those toes are amazing. <laughs> look at how it goes out. They're just grippers. She's always had those grippers. They just grip things. <laughs> it's like really satisfying too because it works out my calf Stable's muscle. It's gonna smell so bad. <laughs> you are a hoot. Both of you are so funny. You have baby toes. Uh, okay, I, we gotta go so you can go thrifting. I love you guys. I love you, mom. Love you. I I guess. Uh, Be up. nice. I gotta go pee. I need to go pee. <laughs> Georgia, no, don't touch them. <laughs> <laughs>